Welcome everyone. Welcome to this video, Yoga for Pregnant Moms to Be. My name is Echo and this is my first pregnancy. And as you can tell, my belly is quite big. I am about two weeks away from expected due date and I've been practicing yoga all this time to help me alleviate lots of physical challenges. So I just wanna let you know this video I'm making is to help moms out there, but every pregnancy is so different. So I'm gonna describe some symptoms that I may have and perhaps you can relate and perhaps this video will be great for you. So I've experienced neck pain, shoulder pain, arm pains, and the side of my body is painful from sleeping on fetal position all night and flipping back and forth. So there's pain left side and right side. I have pain in my lower back. I have pain in my glutes. I have pain with my sciatica and I'm trying to open up my hips to help with the natural birth. So I hope this video can help you uh, alleviate all those pains as well. So before we start, I just want to give five important pointers. Again, this yoga video is for moms who have been practicing yoga for a while or, or throughout the pregnancy. Number two is you must be able to do downward dog nicely and easily because we don't we want to make sure that um, you know how to grip the mat and not fall on the belly. Obviously, that would be disastrous. So that's number two. Number three, um, this yoga uh, video, you may be flashed by my belly because I'm in tight clothes. Four, this is not a great time to start or engage any new postures. Um, unless you've done them before, obviously. But if you want to start, please make sure you move slowly and make sure you're not restricting spaces uh, for your belly. That will lead to number four. Whatever posture we do, and everybody's belly is so different, make sure you're not restricting the space for your lovely baby and the baby bump. Lastly, number five, we will be doing some standing postures because that's actually one of the posture I'm most comfortable comfortable in. I wish I could sleep standing up. So we'll be standing posture. So make sure when we move standing, you have firm grip on the mat. You feel stable and balanced before you move into anything else. So make sure you understand all those five pointers and we'll get started right away. Perfect. So. That stand, and I'm gonna stand slanted so you can kind of see what my feet position is in. It's important that you stand feet width apart so you don't feel too wobbly or out of balance. So we're gonna practice the breathing. The breathing will help us connect with our body, connect with our baby and connect with our practice. So we're going to have our hands out, interlaced fingers and tuck the knuckles underneath the chin. On the next inhale, elbows all the way up, chin tucking in towards the knuckles. Exhale, bring your elbows together parallel towards the floor, head looking towards the ceiling. Inhale, elbows up to stretch the back and the tricep, exhale. Last three, inhale, breathe slowly, deepening your breath. Exhale, you decide how far you want to move your head back, going to a back bend, opening up the airway. Last two, inhale. Last one. Exhale. Beautiful, slowly head, come on back. Let's work along the long side of the mat. We're gonna work into the warrior dance. So let's widen the legs first to focus on the squat. Again, please be very careful how you stand, feel stable and balanced before you move forward. With your toes pointing towards the long corner of the mat, inhale, bring your arms up, stretch your arms, stretch for your shoulder, exhale, squat. Depending on how you feel in your pregnancy, some of us may feel lots of pressure over here. So it's okay to use your hands to lift your belly up a hip a little bit while you engage into a deeper squat to open up the hips, which will also help with um, if you're planning for natural birth. <sighs> Two more breath, inhale. Straighten up the legs, go for length, go for height again. Exhale, squat. If you can, squat deeper. 
One more exhale here. The exhale offers a great opportunity to go deeper. Last one, inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Beautiful. Let's go slightly deeper. You can rest your elbows onto your knees, inside the knees, and pushing your pelvis back. And this forward fold, you want to be careful so you don't fold forward. But this forward fold do provide some space for the baby as they hang in the air, but have lots of space, not fighting space of your internal organs. And notice I'm moving my hips side to side, just in case there's some tight knot into the glute, into the hips, I can help release it at this moment. Beautiful. Ready to come up slowly. Transition your hands onto your knees and slowly press up straight. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's work into our warriors. I'm going to pivot my left foot so that my toe is facing you. My right toes, I'm going to face to the short edge of my mat. Again, before you do anything, stable and balanced. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lunge. Again, be mindful of your shoulder. If your shoulder's been tight, don't feel free to go up or parallel, go down if you need to, a little slight V-shape here. Beautiful. You decide how deep you wanna squat that right knee forward or lunge that right knee forward. And left palm down, right palm up and scoop up slowly. This really helps stretch the side of the body here. Keep that shoulder soft and down. Big breath up here and slowly come on back. I want to work into warrior uh, two, slightly deeper, and then come on down into trikonasana, triangle pose. Straighten the right leg and reach for the right wall. This will really help stretch the right hamstring, but you want to be mindful of the heaviness of the baby bump. Feel free to lower down. Just tap your hand on anywhere on the leg. Or if the baby bone is a little bit heavy today, then use your right hand and lunge a little bit on the right knee. And from here, you want to get your body up, open up the chest, open up the shoulders. Beautiful. And once you're ready, lunge a little bit deeper so you can nicely transition back into your warrior two. And swing the left arm forward, pivot your body to that right side of the wall into warrior one. Open up the chest, going deeper into a back bend. I've been enjoying back bend a lot because with the baby bump, I'm always leaning forward. Beautiful exhale, prayer, hands and heart. Straighten the right leg and turn your body back. And I'm gonna change into the other side. Slowly right toes in, move slowly, stable and balanced, please. And left toes point to the short edge of the mat. Same sequence here, inhale, arms up. Be mindful of your shoulder, exhale. You decide how deep you want to lunge here. And over here, we're gonna have an opportunity to stretch the, um, the, the uh, muscles underneath the collarbone, your pec. Feel free to turn your palm towards the ceiling and keep on turning. Open up the chest. A little bit restriction towards your lungs but it's gonna be a nice stretch for your pec, not for long. Beautiful, exhale, turn back. And right palm down, left palm up, scoop up. Stretch the left side of the torso here. Again, try not to go too deep because it might stretch the belly too much. Restricting the baby space. But this also provides a great stretch for the left side of the body if you lie on the left side a lot like myself here, and slowly inhale, come on back. Back into warrior two and straighten the left leg for trikonasana here and reach. Be mindful, be careful, balance and steady. Exhale, slowly pivot down. Again, rest on that left leg if it helps you balance. Open up this right arm to open up the chest and lunge a little bit to provide more stable resting space for that left arm here. Keep your body open. Beautiful and slowly coming up. Back into your warrior two. Swing this right arm nicely forward. Pivot your body, warrior one. 
Beautiful. Looking up to your fingertips, going for a gentle back bend. I always find this to be helpful during my pregnancy. I feel free. I can feel, I can breathe a bit more with like this, but everybody's different. And exhale, head coming back. Pray your hands. Straighten the left leg, feel it stable and steady. Come on back, left toes in. Beautiful. From here, inhale, arms up. Now it's up to you if you want to fall forward. I'm going to go fall forward. If you've been practicing this throughout all this time, feel free to do so. For those who are new, please not attempt. Do not attempt if you don't feel comfortable and safe. Hands down, head down. With my head down, I feel like the neck is no longer heavy being sat on by my head. At the same time, I get to work on my hamstring, I working on my hips. And by hanging upside down, I feel my baby is not competing space in it with the internal organ again. Again, these the upside down postures can be very helpful if you feel like the baby's head has not turned yet downward or sometimes the medical term is breaching. So this is one of the postures that you can do to help the baby have more space and perhaps move to the right direction. Beautiful, we're ready to come on up. You wanna take the time to shorten your stance slowly, bend your knees, hands on the knees and inhale slowly, press up. Legs straight, arms up. Exhale, pray your hands to heart. Beautiful. Now, before we go down, we will go into sun salutation. Feel free to look towards my modification. Again, my feet are apart so that when I fall forward, there's space for my belly bump. Here we go. Inhale, arms up. Reaching high up, lengthening up. Gazing up towards your beautiful hand. Exhale, dive forward, bend your knees if you need to. Allow the belly bump to go nicely between the legs. Hands down, supporting your body, head down again to alleviate the neck. Let your head hang and inhale, look forward. Look forward with your hands anchored on the mat to stretch the upper back. Last breath here. And slowly we're gonna come into the plank. Slowly stepping back, depending on how your arms are feeling and your belly's heaviness. I like to drop down to my knee. So I'm just working on my arms here and not my lower back. And obviously exhale when you lower down, you wanna leave lots of space for your belly. Inhale, press up, upward dog. Now, depending on your lower back, depending on your practice, you may not wanna lower your pelvis all the way down. Moving slowly to keep on feeling how your belly is moving. You don't wanna stretch it too deep. Beautiful, exhale, downward dog. Downward dog with transition into tabletop first, curling your toes under, exhale. Move around until your bodies feel like there's space for the baby bump. Good grip, very good grip on the mat, please. Again, this is one of the postures where you can help providing space to the baby, to the baby bump. And uh, if the baby needs to turn their head, this is a good space, good time for them. And from here, you can soften your heels towards the mat, working on your hamstring, which will help with your lower back. Feel free to bend one knee slowly side to side, alleviate the hips, and nicely come into a child's pose. Knees wide open, toes touching. Depending on how big your belly is, you wanna slowly lower down. Make sure you don't restrict space, the belly button or the belly or the baby bump. So to make sure that I don't press too much on the belly, I am engaging my elbows. Hmm. Oh, I can feel the baby moving with me. Fantastic, and from here, inhale slowly, come on up onto your hands. Inhale, tabletop. Beautiful. Tabletop is another posture where you can provide good space to the baby as well. 
Just want to be mindful of all the power or all the strength you're putting on your wrist. From here, good balance position with your knees and hands. Coming to cow and cat for three. Inhale. Cow posture, head up, shoulder open. Belly button to the floor. Exhale, round, chin tucked in. Keep your arms straight round your back. Stretching your upper back is great. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. From here, tabletop. Now I'm gonna work a little bit on the forearm and also the shoulders. I have to change my position so you can see it better on the camera, um, but you don't have to move. Okay, so let me move. Oopsie. So from here, I'm still in the tabletop. My hands on the floor, I'm still in the tabletop here, but I'm gonna take my fingertips towards my knee. Over here, you might feel great stretch your forearm. If you don't really like it, feel free to lean a little bit forward so the stretch is not happening too deep. But if you do like the deep stretch, feel free to move your body back and provide the stretch to this forearm. So find the uh, number of degrees or the final degree of stretch that you enjoy, and then slowly draw circular motion. Please move very slowly. Just because we're on the phone a lot, doesn't matter your mom or not moms, we're on the phone a lot. Therefore, it's important just to do something to prevent carpal tunnel so that you're not in pain <laughs> for, the, for the important months to come when the baby comes out. And change direction. Moving slowly. Fantastic, come on back. And releasing your hands back to the tabletop hands that you know. From here, I'm gonna stretch my shoulders. I'm gonna dip my body, bend my elbow, and then push my body to the left side. As I push my body to the left side, I'm gonna stretch my right arm, right shoulder, and up, and right, and lower down. So basically, if you're looking at the screen, I'm basically drawing a circle. Moving with my breath, obviously. And change position, change direction. And slowly come on back. Great. And now I'm going to go back to the same spot as you were. And continue to move. I'm going to take the posture to my upper back. From here, lower your shoulders down. Slowly move your shoulders away, move your arms away, forehead and nose to the floor if possible. Again, it depends on how many months you've been practicing. This posture provides big, big stretch for your shoulders. Open up the chest. And there's still space for the belly to exist, to not feel restricted. From here, turn your palm towards the ceiling, fold at the elbow. Bring your palms or your hands to your shoulders. And feel free to give yourself a nice, gentle massage. Where the neck and the shoulder intersect is where we usually have lots of challenges. So feel free to give yourself a nice rub. Nice attention to your body of self-care. And once you're ready, slowly hands lower down, slide your hand underneath the shoulders, inhale, we're back to tabletop. Beautiful. Now let us come on down. So from here, I'm gonna sit on the side. It's called a mermaid on the rock. So your legs are on one side. I'm gonna take this opportunity to stretch the side of my torso. As I mentioned, because I've been sleeping on my sides, flipping back to the right, to the left. I've been causing pain to my arms. So I'm gonna stretch my side of my torso. I'm gonna hold on to my left foot with my left hand. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, rainbow over to the right side. 
As I do this, I'm gonna stretch this whole right side here, which feels really great. Allow your breath to guide you deeper whenever you feel ready. Again, you wanna be mindful of all the stretches you're bringing to your skin as well. Sometimes people may not enjoy that too much and slowly rise them up and change. Feeling comfortable, right hand, left arm, inhale, exhale. Fantastic, from here, inhale, come on up, exhale, release. Now I'm gonna show you some more about the shoulders as you know, we might be working on carrying the baby a lot. So if you have any shoulder pain, it's a good time to work on them now slowly so we don't experience when the baby comes. So I'm going to turn around so you can see better what's happening at the back. Sorry, my back is behind you. If you don't enjoy being on your knee, feel free to be on, oh, sorry. If you don't enjoy being on your toes or sitting down to your heels, feel free to be on your knee for this posture. Make sure you're stable and balanced, knees open or hip width apart, right arm up, left arm. So this is option one. Again, you're stretching this side. You're working on this right shoulder here. So from here, feel free to push your right side to the right. Open up the right side deeper, shoulders. And slowly inhale, come on back. Feel free to stay here if you enjoy it, or you can feel free to turn back. Try to bring your hands together. Take a couple of breaths here. Actively letting the shoulders down. Fantastic. And that's change. Slowly release, slowly release to feel all the blood rushing to the shoulders and the elbows. Other side, left arm. Right hand, guide that left arm down. From here, left hip towards the left side. Slowly inhale, come on back. Again, feel free to stay here as an option or come to here as a second option. Bring your hands together. Beautiful, one more breath. And slowly release release and as you slowly release you feel blood flowing back from the shoulder to the elbow really nice detox here and exhale we're going to slowly sitting back down now i'm going to work with the long side of the mat here and i'm going to bring my knees together feet touching and just sitting back onto my heel and hand to the back just to provide lots of space for the belly bump head to the back if you enjoy a back bend Mm, the baby is moving because there's lots of space for it, but probably. And slowly come on back, head first, and walk your hands back. Now I'm going to go into a back bend. Again, if you haven't been practicing back bend, perhaps it's not a good time. But if you feel comfortable, please move slowly with me. Inhale, come on up to your knee and make sure your knees are hip width apart again. I'm going to curl my toes under. And slowly starting with my left side, I'm gonna grab the left heel with my left hand and pushing my pelvis slightly forward, going for a back bend and right arm up. Just for two, for one, and slowly elbows in and change. Right hand on the right heel. Take a moment to bring your pelvis forward. Again, depending on how your belly butt button or your belly baby bump is feeling. <sighs> Reaching high up. Walk 
One more. And exhale. Come on down. Beautiful. I hope your back feels better that way. And from here, I'm going to come back to working alongside the mat to work on some hip work. So from here, sitting down, legs out. The butterfly. The butterfly helps release the lower back and also helps the hips. So it's quite nice. So it depends on your baby, baby bump. So perhaps it's a diamond shape for me right now. Perhaps for you, it's a triangle shape depending on where you are in your pregnancy. But my baby bum is quite big now. So I'm gonna come into a, 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 sorry, a diamond shape here. Holding onto my feet and butterfly my knees just to see how my hips are feeling. Not too much range of motion here, but some range of motion is always nice. Keep your body moving, breathing nicely. Okay, so coming back to center, holding onto your feet, inhale tall. Exhale, slowly lower down again, depending on how your baby bum's feeling or your belly. Don't go down too deep. Moving nicely and slowly. Be aware of all the space you're bringing to your baby or not. But you'll feel a nice stretch in your lower back. Keeping your head down, keeping your shoulders soft. Good time to let them go as well. <sighs> Just last two breaths, feeling really good. You wanna hear your own breath so that you know you're taking deep breath. Yeah, slowly come on up. From here, we're gonna bring that right leg in and that left leg out. Again, depending on how you feel, now you do wanna let this left leg to be straight if possible. If the leg needs to be a little bit more in to be straight, that's great. If not, that's fine. You can have a gentle space here as well. But we're gonna to try to stretch this hip side here. From here, left hand, right arm. Inhale, tall, exhale. So in this posture, not only you're stretching this left hip, this right side, and also right side of the body. Breathing just two. Feels good, feel free to breathe more. And one more, one more. And slowly come on up. And change, left leg in, right leg out. Good, same thing. If the legs to come closer or leave a little gentle space here, that's all fine. Once you're ready, exhale. Just two. Just one. And slowly inhale, exhale, release. Now both legs wide. Okay, before you go down, be mindful of the space, be mindful of your belly button, be mindful of your hamstring, make sure you feel comfortable. And once you're ready, inhale, exhale, lower down. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can lower down at this moment. Feel free to walk your hands a little bit far away. And slowly inhale, come on back. And this is a nice spot for you to hold on to your belly. <sighs> to see how your baby is doing. Beautiful. Now we're gonna head down all the way to the floor on our back. Depending on how you do it, it's gonna be a little bit awkward moving for me. Working on the long side of the mat here. From here, before we go down, it's going to an upward plank just to stretch the front of the torso. Again, if you're new, make sure you look at the video first before you feel like it's safe for you to do, or as an option, you can bend your knees, okay? So let me do the option first. The option is bend your knee, feet up, and push your belly forward, not to the back, but forward, and lift. Or if you've been practicing this for a while, 
Feel free to use your feet, long legs. And again, exhale, lower down and provide a nice transition for us to lie all the way down on our mat. With that deep stretch, my sciatica doesn't feel as bad anymore when I lie down here. Finding all the space here. Finding all the comfort here. Now, I don't get to stay here too long just because the heaviness of the belly actually resisting my airway. I can't breathe as well. So let's finish the stretches. Bend your knees, feet behind the butt cheeks, hands beside the body. That's coming to a bridge. Inhale, slowly lift. Pelvis up. Chin tucking in. Shoulders soft. Now you're not here to find the highest spot for your hips. You're here to alleviate your back. But it's also provide a good space for the baby. Lots of space here for the baby here. Chin tucking in. You can see your belly here. Beautiful. Exhale, lower all the way down. Let's come to a gentle twist. From here, knees towards your chest and slowly drop the knees down towards the right side. Now, it's very, very important that you don't go into deep twists, depending on how your belly is feeling, depending on where you are in your pregnancy too. I can't close my knees anymore. And that's also because I don't want to go into a deep stretch. This is good enough of a stretch for me. And head to the back. Depending on where you are, your knees can come down. You can maybe go into reclining, which is not highly recommended, but knees down for a deep stretch if you really feel like you need it. As long as you're putting the baby bump, the space for the baby as number one priority. Beautiful. Let's take it to the other side. Head center, one knee at a time. Come on back to center. Come on here. Come on here to rock, rock a little bit. Let the mat massage your hip, your back, and your shoulders. And when you're ready to the other side, gaze towards the opposite hand. Beautiful. What's important is that your shoulder is down and supported. So that your chest is open for the posture. It's quite open posture here. And slowly head back to center, legs back to center. Now, depending on where you are, how big the baby bump is, you can come into a happy baby. It's very important that I, my, knee, my knees are far away because my baby bump are onto the side so that I don't want my thigh to press on the baby bump. You can have your hands on your feet at the back of the knee or inside the knee or inside the thigh. It's up to you. Beautiful. Enjoy it here or move into a big V shape to support the hips opening. Again, your hands can be on your toes, depending on where you are, or your hands can be inside or outside the knee, up to you. <sighs> Wonderful. And slowly bring your knees together. Once again, rock, rock, and let your legs go. This is a great time for a little Shavasana if you want. With my sciatica pain, it's hard for me to have my both legs down, but I'm so happy my right leg can be down here. You can take this time to Shavasana or just simply rest and then join us coming up for some shoulder and face yoga here. So feel free to go into Shavasana and end this class right here. Or you can come into a fetal position Pressing up and joys some, some final stretches that you can do on the floor. Thank you so much for joining me thus far. So some little joint work that I like to work on makes it feel good. 
Inhale, arms up. Interlace the finger, cup it behind the head. Elbows wide open to stretch the pec muscle. Elbows in and exhale round. Stretching my lower back, upper back, mid back, and the back of the neck. Inhale, open. Exhale. And slowly coming up. Elbows open, right elbow to the floor. Gaze to the left side. Again, I always enjoy this because I've been sleeping on my side. <sighs> Inhale, center, exhale, switch. <sighs> and slowly come on back. Exhale, release. Neck. Gently, gently, two, circle, one direction. Other direction. Two circle as well. Fantastic. Some facial yoga just to help the mommy with some anti-aging here. So over here, because I've been looking at the computer screen a lot, I can take on my second finger and the thumb and just squeeze the outline of my eyebrow. Squeeze them like a little nice plump caterpillar without squashing them. Beautiful. And for my sinus, form a triangle and just press the sinus area, form the nose bridge. Beautiful. Again, be looking at the computer too much or the phone. Take out my fourth finger and just tap around the eye socket. You don't want to press too hard and break the capillary. Fantastic. And from here, lastly, for your cheeks. Bring your hip, uh, lips together and use your tongue to puff up one cheek at a time so you can stretch the tightness you may have in your cheekbones. Here you go. That was my right side. And that was my left side. And now I'm going to bring my lips together so I can stretch the top upper lips and the bottom lips. Beautiful. So beautiful mommies, I hope you enjoy that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to provide comments or email me for some questions and ideas. To end the class, inhale. Open your arms to the universe. Prepare yourself for the beauty that's to come. From here, pray your hands and heart. Thank you so much for joining this class. We'll see you next time. Namaste.